how do, how does nine, over 95 million Americans have reflux? What's happening? What occurs is that pressure, that good pressure, gets overwhelmed by what's called increased intra-abdominal pressure. So all of this is in the abdomen, right? The stomach is in your abdomen, should be, unless you have a hiatal hernia where part of it goes up. But the stomach's there, obviously that lower part of the esophagus is there. You know, there's that nice inward pressure keeping everything in the stomach by design. But then you get enough pressure from the outside, and I talk about this a lot, is that pressure that's squeezing the stomach and then just sort of blows all the other <laughs> good measures that your body has inherently out of the water and you get and you get reflux. So let's look at where those pressures come from. Constipation is very common. 20% of all adults in the US have constipation. I think it could be even higher um, because these, these um, percentages are coming from individuals who are complaining about constipation. I have met patients over my many decades in practice who are constipated and have no idea that they are because they move their bowels every two days, every three days, and they've always moved their bowels that infrequently. And they consider it to be normal because like, well, that's just me. That's what my body does. Well, they're constipated and they don't even know it. So I would wager that that's a higher percentage. But anyway, that's what the, the research says. Then there's uh, gas and bloating, which only makes sense that gas is putting a lot of pressure. So gas and bloating um, constitutes, uh, based on a very recent study just a couple of months ago 20, in 2025, that 40% of Americans suffer from gas and bloating. So the percentages are rising here. And um, that's from uh, IBS can do it, certainly food sensitivities can do it. SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth can do it. There's a lot of things that can cause gas and bloating, but that's certainly going to increase uh, intra-abdominal pressure. Fatty liver, so fat infiltration in the liver, 25% of American adults have that. The liver is a very large organ. I, I pointed to the stomach being on the left side, uh, just under the rib cage. Uh, the liver is, is, on, um, is on the right side. And uh, what happens is that that liver gets infiltrated with fat and it's, and it's taking up more room and it's inflamed and that can increase pressure, certainly in that area because they're like cousins on, on the left and, and right side of the body respectively. 